It's this time of year that citizens want to get out around League City and drive their golf carts. And due to a number of recent accidents that happened, including uh, serious injuries and even some deaths to children, the League City Police Department is dedicated to uh, provide security and inform uh, everyone about the laws that surround uh, driving a golf cart in the community. So there's a number of things that a golf cart must have. And those things include headlights, tail lamps, reflectors, they have to have a parking brake, mirrors. When you're driving on the road, you need to have a license plate. And if you're on a road that is under 25 miles an hour, your vehicle uh, goes slower, you need to have a slow moving vehicle emblem, which is the orange reflective emblem that goes on the back of the vehicle. The license plates that you have to have are issued by the tax office. So if you fill out the registration form and go to the tax office, they will issue you a license plate and register the vehicle in your name. To drive a vehicle in the roadway, you have to follow all traffic laws because a golf cart is a motor vehicle. So the person driving has to have a driver's license, which means children are not allowed to drive a golf cart. The vehicle also has to be covered under liability insurance. When transporting children uh, under eight years old, they have to either be in a safety seat or seat belted in, which means that your golf cart will be required to have seat belts if you're gonna transport any child under eight years old. If your cart did not come with seat belts, you can have those installed. So when I'm patrolling and I see a golf cart, I'm checking to make sure that it's being driven on the public roadway and not a sidewalk being as how you have to have a driver's license to drive the golf carts now on the public roadway. I'm checking to make sure that kids aren't driving the carts at all. I'm going to check to make sure that the insurance is up to date, that they have a, a proper license plate displayed on the back. If any of these violations are found, you can be subject up to a $500 fine. We know how convenient it is to be able to hop on your golf cart and ride down to the pool, the park, maybe even the a local store or restaurant but we want the citizens to be aware of the uh, safety issues and the law surrounding golf cart usage on the roadway in League City. If you have questions, we invite you to contact us. We want you to be able to use your golf cart in a safe manner as we're dedicated to protect you, your family, and the community.